clock is ticking to avoid yet another government shutdown. The deadline for a deal, the end of the month, and one attempt at a deal has already failed. Ben Brown with our ABC 15 political team has the latest in Washington and looks at the potential impact on all of us. If the phrase looming government shutdown sounds like deja vu, it's because it kind of is. Just in the last year, we nearly avoided shutdowns five times. So this is number six. And Speaker Mike Johnson is hoping to avoid it again. A small group of House Republicans, including Arizona's own Eli Crane and Andy Biggs, joined most Democrats to reject the funding package earlier this week. Now, Johnson plans to introduce a clean short-term spending bill with nothing attached that would keep the government operating into December, something Arizona Democratic Congressman Greg Stanton is on board with. We cannot and should not do a long-term a continued resolution and put services to our veterans at risk. That's not acceptable to me. Republican Congressman David Schweikert says finding a long-term solution is more complicated than just blue versus red. Interest now is the second biggest expenditure in government. For every dollar we take in in, in ta total tax receipts, we spend a dollar thirty-nine. It's about the money. The, it, see, so often my my media friends want to say, "Well, it's Republican versus Democrat." It's not. It's the political class has not told their voters the truth of how difficult it is. Former President Donald Trump called for a shutdown if the SAVE Act wasn't part of the deal. That would require voters to provide documented proof of citizenship at the time of registration. It's something Arizona already does for state and local races. Tom Riley, a professor at Arizona State University, believes House Republicans will pass a short-term bill next week, partly for political reasons. You know, historically, the party that was deemed most responsible for the shutdown have not fared well in future elections. So, you know, uh, shutdowns in the past have not been a, a winning solution. Both congressmen believe the short-term spending bill will pass next week, but if the government were to shut down, it could delay major infrastructure projects, national parks could close, and government employees could go without pay. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.